All right, so without giving too much of it away, um, I haven't made a video in a while. This one is very special. So I'm going to walk myself over to the old office that I was in, right? You guys know I've done a bunch of set of videos in there. Um, you know, I've been in this room for a while. Uh, it's been separate from my, my room room, if that makes sense. I've, we live in a four bedroom house and uh, we're only using three of them. So obviously that means that I get, I mean, not obviously, but I've been able to use one of them for me. So that's pretty neato. But um, we got the whole house painted and I kind of just figured like my mom could take this room here. Yeah, this is what it's like now. This was my setup, um, obviously not anymore. But I told my mom she could take this room and so I moved everything into my room. I got a whole new desk. I got a whole new nightstand unit, all this other stuff. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna clean it up. Cause I got big shit poppin', you ain't welcome to jail hey, Party in the mansions up in Beverly Hills Bitches claiming that they different to the Jamaican All right, so let's just get into it. So this is the Ikea Linmon with the ADILS legs, I don't know. But this desk is like a super long desk, so it had to have five of them. Uh, let me get this chair out of the way. So, I don't really know where to start with this one. Um, obviously, it's like, I'm so happy with it. It's not even done yet. Like, I have these uh, these prints right here that we got. And we're just going to hang them up there. Because uh, you can tell this looks kind of bland. But, um, yeah, a lot of this um, I just set up. I actually... Uh, work for the past couple days. I mean like I just set it up all from scratch. The table was obviously easy because it was just that top part and then the um, You just screw on the legs. That was super easy But some of the other stuff I'm talking about like this I had to slide the drawers in or install the drawers uh, Yada 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 then I don't know why this camera's not focusing today. It's being weird. Let me uh, I'm gonna go to manual Okay, um, yeah, and then I got that little plant from Target. Let's see. Yeah, and then uh this, I actually haven't even used. It's straight out of the box just now. Uh, you can see I still have all the cables together, which is kind of neat, but uh, yeah. So I have two Logitechs here. I have this, this keyboard. This is just a basic Bluetooth. Let me go to Amazon. This is, uh, actually I won't show it because I'm going to make a part two to this video. And I'm just gonna show you guys all the stuff here. And then I'm gonna show you when I get the rest of the stuff on those shelves and everything. Uh, but yeah, so moving on, I just got a PS4 there, the, sh the original PS4, not the um, not the shiny one, but you know. Uh, then we have the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. Uh, you can't really see it too well. The colors on it are there. You go. It's like a flashing uh, pink and blue, so it's kind of like a goes along with this really well. I uh, I don't know what happened to these LEDs, but. I can't push, like, I can't change the color, because this is like some stupid PC RGB kit. Uh, I'm kind of frustrated, but every time I push a button on the remote, then it like, I don't know, I don't understand. It doesn't change the color or anything. The remote's not dead, because you can see it blink a little bit, but then it, just nothing happens. But I'm lucky it got stuck on an okay color, because I can match that with the blue, or not match, but like blend it together. Ow. That really hurt. Okay, so, this is the... I just talked about that. I don't know what kind of stupid headset that is. Uh, stuff in here that I keep, I keep a couple of video stuff. Uh, super glue, I don't remember what that's for. That's a battery for that LED remote. Then I have the uh, pen for my drawing tablet that I use sometimes. That's just the charger for it. This one, I just have my glasses and extra battery, extra SD card. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna get into cable management later. Cable management later. But, oh, I actually just saw another cord I have to manage. But this is the Asus something, something, something monitor. Uh, 24 inch. Um, I just stopped my recording. 24 inch. It's got uh, 
60 hertz refresh rate blah 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 just a normal monitor but it's uh i don't remember why i bought it exactly um oh yeah it had a it has a one millisecond response time i don't know why i just spaced out for a second but this one over here this is just a cheapo um it still has the goodwill sticker on it uh i savers i got it from savers because i was just in there one day and i was like hey like it was like 20 bucks so i was like okay sure why not and there's no dead pixels so i was just like okay whatever um then next i have this focusrite scarlet 2i2 which is actually what i used to plug all my headphones into when i want to listen to my computer audio i don't have the mic set up that's in the closet over there and i don't think i'm gonna set it up on this setup it just I, I can't fit it anywhere you know um if i really need to do a voiceover which i might not but i'll uh i'll set it up for that these are just two micro usb cables that i need to uh take care of get rid of i don't know but i like them here because i can use them if i want i can just plug in my speaker then i can just plug in my controller or my phone so i really need them there but i don't know i'll figure out what to do with that later um Again, like I said, I'll get into all my cable management and stuff later, but since I did move into this room, there is no um, coaxial to use the internet. So, I actually had to go wireless, which sucks. But I get the same speeds thanks to this little, um, trying to, let me see if I have the box. Yeah, I do. It's the Linksys uh, AC 1200, uh, excuse me, uh, something, you know, something small. Uh, right here. I just have it plugged into a USB hub that I have on the side of my it's a USB 3 hub I have on the side of my desk uh, Velcro then I have a cable trim going along Again cable management. I'll get to it in a second But this is my nightstand unit that I was talking about I love the white and the wood and I love all the how all the colors just kind of bounce off all the white in this room It looks amazing. Like even on that thing. You can see the orange kind of bounces off um, You know this little uh, RGB thing Changes colors, um, kind of flaky, but it was super cheap, so I'm not one to complain. It was like 10 bucks. Um, Ikea fake plant, alarm clock, RGB remote, uh, micro USB on the back with a little cable tie. Uh, there's just this thing. And here I keep, I usually keep like my wallet, some flash drives, uh, cologne, and I have an extension plug right there for other stuff. Um, we did just hang this up today. It actually fits in super nice with the room. It looks small on here, but it's actually like, um, in terms of like perspective in real life, it's actually pretty big. Um, it covers a lot of the bed. I don't, uh, that's really weird. It looks small on there. I don't know why I'm just noticing that. But then we have this like giraffe head that kind of just sticks out of the wall. And I mean, I found it at Hobby Lobby and I was just like, like this thing is so cool. But I got it and uh, I've loved it ever since. So yeah, let's move on here. This is my bed. I like my bed. Uh, then this thing I got at Ikea uh, a little while ago, but um, it looks even better in this room. I had it up the whole time and we had these like yellow walls and we just got the whole house painted, like I said. So, I mean, it looks super cool, but cool, whatever. Um, yeah, so on the shelves, I have this little guy and I have a clock, then I have a statue of like a wolf in a suit i have a glass little i don't even know like an owl i have a thing of a guy playing a tuba something else abstract something else then i have a plant up there and it looks super tall but really it's not i don't know this camera's messing me up but then i have some kind of ikea light strip behind there with a little salt lamp but uh yeah so now we're gonna get into the cord management this is where like everything is crazy so Actually, I'm gonna start underneath. So, if you can see, do you see any cables here? Because I am pretty sure I don't see any cables. Oh shoot, did that one fall off? God dang it, it did. Hold on. Oh, I hate these things. Ikea sells the worst quality uh, 3M stuff ever. And yeah, they both fell down, are you kidding? What the heck? Dude, Ikea sucks. For their 3M stuff, it's like garbage. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, back when I was saying, cords, no, you don't see any. I need to fix that too. Whatever, I was just down there. So, my solution to this is, as you can see in that one little tube that's cords kind of popping out of, I have a extension, not extension cord, just like a power strip that goes from there to there, 
um, in this little box that I got at Ikea too. All the cords come out in this tube, run up to the desk, and I have them managed from there. And all these other little Ikea tubes you can see back there too. And yeah, then I have that other, just like a, um, a wall outlet USB charger type thing that I have all my, uh, uh, that I have these two cords in actually. So then if we go to the back, you can see I have my LED strip there. Uh, it's coming off because of the monitor stand, but there's another little tube and you can see everything back there is running on the tubes. And let's see if I can give you another shot of the, uh, of the trim. So if you can see right here, when it runs across, we're like right in the middle of the screen and then it comes up there, that's a cable trim. So everything in the back is a little ugly, but it's actually managed super well. So it's like nothing to complain about, you know? But yeah, when you're here and you're there, you don't see any cords at all, none. So that was a huge thing that I had with my other setup. Like I just had an Ikea Signum and I slapped everything in. And I mean, I had like six uh, surge protectors when I only need one right now. So, you know, um, my biggest tip, if you're trying to do cable management, I guess, is, uh, you know, if you don't need it, you don't need it. That's basically it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like for my eyebrows. I know they're pretty on fleek, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.